Ever since Lashkey happened, it feels like the drama with Michaela has been constant. Usually when we talk about her, it always has to do with her not disclosing ads properly or her not being completely honest with her reviews. This time, she's being called out for something to do with a charity and a lot of people aren't happy with her. It's a mess, so let's get into it. If you guys only started keeping up with Michaela after her mascara drama, then you might not know what happened with her previous donation scandal. Pretty much what happened was back when Roe vs Wade was overturned, Michaela was rightfully very upset and distraught over the decision and she wanted to help out in whatever way she could. She announced that she would be donating half of her earnings from her glam light palette towards causes helping those affected by the law. I have voted blue since I turned 18 and I was raised in a democratic household and that is never going to change. Why would they do this? I don't have all the right words. But a I am Lincoln. A lot of places where you can find resources and donate in my bio. I have also made a personal decision to donate half of my earnings of my new Glam Light collection to these causes because I'm pissed that this time it happened and I don't... These people lied to get onto the Supreme Court. These people should not be on the Supreme Court. Not realize what this does? Links in my bio. And because of that decision, a lot of people who were also passionate about those causes went out and bought Michaela's palette and were praising her for doing that. One of the top comments under her video says, Donating half? I don't know if people realize how much that will actually be. Thank you for standing up and saying something and also doing it too. But that was over six months ago, and there's never been any update from Michaela on how much she donated. Usually when a big influencer promises a donation, especially when the money is being raised by their fans, they usually show some kind of proof of donation so people actually know where their money went. But Michaela wasn't showing anything, and she's been ignoring the people asking for an update. It was only last month that Michaela finally replied to one comment asking about the donation and she said, The donations are with the organizations I donated last year. But people want to see receipts. They want to know that their money actually went to these organizations and a lot of people find it strange that she isn't showing any proof. Now maybe she just doesn't want people to figure out how much she made on that palette since she did say that she would donate half so it would be pretty easy to do the math and find out how much she made. If that's her concern, then I think at the very least, she should show which one she donated to and maybe show the receipt with the sensitive information blurred out. I'm sure there would still be people saying like, she probably didn't make the full donation, but I also feel like the charities would most likely call her out if she said that she donated and she actually didn't. So as you can imagine, Michaela doing these fundraisers doesn't have the best track record, which is why I was kind of surprised to see her doing a new one. Recently, Michaela did a collab with Chris Appleton where he came over and did a trial run for her wedding hair. I am so excited because Chris Appleton is doing my hair for my wedding. I can't believe this. It's like unreal. He came over to do a little trial and I cannot wait to show you what we created. But can you believe this is real? And right after she did the collab, she added a new link to her link tree, going to a GoFundMe for the Boston Children's Hospital. The GoFundMe is called Children's Hospital Fundraiser Two Chanel Bags. And it was made by an organization called Hair Raising. And this is what it says. Want to join us in making a difference? Chris Appleton and Michaela Naguera are raising money to benefit hair raising for the Heart Center at the Boston Children's Hospital. Boston Children's is the number one pediatric hospital in the country and is renowned for achieving the best possible outcomes for every patient. By donating a minimum of $5 and commenting on their social posts, you can be entered into Chris and Michaela's giveaway to win a brand new Chanel bag. Two winners will be chosen at random on April 15th, 2023. So this is where things get a bit messy. Of course, it's amazing that they're trying to bring attention to a children's hospital, 
but the Chanel giveaway and the social media comment is where things aren't sitting right with people. In the US, there's apparently a law called pay to play specifically for giveaways. The law states, the main laws you need to be aware of when you run a contest or sweepstakes in any US state are no purchase necessary laws. These laws state that you cannot require users to make a purchase or provide other forms of consideration to enter sweepstakes where winners are randomly drawn. So saying that people need to donate $5 to be entered actually isn't allowed. In fact, you're not allowed to hold any kind of giveaways on GoFundMe, period. This is what GoFundMe has to say about giveaways. Raffles, promotions, and giveaways. Can I give things away or have prizes for my donors? As stated in our terms of service, GoFundMe does not allow organizers to offer any type of good or service to donors on or through our platform. This includes offering or promoting any contest, competition, reward, raffle, sweepstake, giveaway, or similar activity. So I don't know what Michaela and Chris are doing with this giveaway. I feel like it's so easy to look up these things, but just like the FTC disclosure laws, Michaela seems to think the rules don't apply to her. I feel like Michaela could have just promoted the hospital on her TikTok and had a bigger impact by encouraging people to donate directly to the hospital. GoFemi takes fees and service charges, so donating directly to the source seems like a way better method. I also feel like instead of getting people to donate $5 and boost your social media pages, why not take the money from the Chanel bags and send it directly to the hospital? We don't know what type of Chanel bag they're giving away, but they could run anywhere from like $2,000 to $10,000 and even more. I just feel like donating that money directly to the hospital instead of doing a social media giveaway would be way more impactful and wouldn't break any laws. A lot of people feel the same way, writing, I'm okay with her hyping up a Boston Children's Hospital, but it should be a direct link to the organization, not an organization for a donation in her name. Nope. Why don't they just donate $25,000 herself and Chris donate 25,000. They're both rich. Why are they asking us poor people? If I'm donating money, I'm doing it directly to the charity because then I get the tax write-off. Donors can't through GoFundMe. She can donate all the money she wants by herself. She can sell a few of her handbags and give the money. And I agree with a direct link to the organization. As soon as you go on the Boston Hospital website, an option comes up for a donation and it seems really easy. That way, all your money is going to the hospital directly, you don't have to comment on any social media pages, and like that other comment said, it's a tax write-off for you, not Michaela or whoever else. Anyways guys, let me know what you think about everything down below. I personally don't think Michaela did the GoFundMe with any ill intent, obviously, but just like her issues with the FTC, it's so important to read the rules and do things the right way. Let me know what you guys think and I'll see you next time.